Hi guys, this is the first of three videos in which we will define all of the physical properties we use to identify different minerals. In this video, we will have a look at the physical properties of colour, streak and luster. In the next video, we will look at hardness, cleavage and fracture, density and reaction with acid. And then in the third video, we will have a look at a table which summarises all of the mineral properties and we will look at a flowchart which will help us to understand the path in which we should take in order to identify different minerals. The first property of minerals we'll have a look at is colour. Some minerals always have the same colour, but many minerals do show a range of colour and these colour variations occur in minerals because it reflects the fact that the mineral actually contains impurities. Sometimes colour is not such a great indicator of what type of mineral we're looking at when we're trying to classify minerals, but sometimes it can be quite helpful. Here are a few examples of a few different minerals and their colours. Orthoclase feldspar is usually found to be pink. Quartz, when it is quite a pure mineral and doesn't contain any impurities, will be found to be a white or a clear colour. When quartz contains impurities, it can be pink or many different colours. Pyrite is always presented as usually a yellow or a brassy metallic colour. Muscovite mica is often a light colour, a sort of beigey or yellowy colour, and biotite mica will come often in a grey or a black colour.